Hi, and welcome to Max8 tutorial number 17. This is analog audio, and we put the analog in parentheses there because let it be known, this is not analog audio, it's like analog audio. Um, obviously we're working on a computer and that means we're using digital audio, but this is reminiscent of the analog audio you would have if you were using um, oscillators and capacitors and things on a circuit board. So, with that understanding, and let us never speak of it again, let's um, start working in it. Uh, type the letter N in your patch, and let's type saw tilde. And this is an object that makes a saw-shaped oscillator wave. Um, do we need to use this? Of course not. Let's option click on it and get the help file. Oh boy, this looks like fun. So without um, even unlocking this to steal yet, let's turn the speaker on. This is also called the Easy DAC. Uh, is it the Easy DAC or the Easy? Is the Easy DAC? Yes. And then we turn the volume up a little and we see what it's doing. So that's what a saw wave sounds like. And then you can see up here we have our K slider. So we can... Turn that volume down a little bit. So that's very cool. What's happening? The K slider here is sending out a MIDI note. M to F means MIDI to frequency. It will translate whatever the MIDI note is into a frequency that is C, 130.8128 uh, cycles per second, and that sends that frequency down to the saw, which had originally started at 440, remember that high note, but now it's being replaced by this number. That's being sent down to a gain control, and then out to a speaker. And we get to see it on this uh, I forget what this thing's called, but uh, we could find out easily enough. But, I, you know, I don't really want to look at this one, so when I steal, I have decided to steal everything. I'm not even going to steal the keyboard. I'm just going to steal this stuff. I don't really need that one either. Um, so I'm going to steal that stuff. I'm not going to steal this one. And I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to close the help file. Don't save it if it asks you. We'll delete that one, paste in the one we just stole. I can already feel the fun of this. So there's the MTF, and here's Saw at 440. It's probably playing right now. Let's test it all and make sure it works. Turn it on, turn the volume up. There it is at 440. Ah! And we could now just... I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Um, just run this up and down and put the frequencies in manually. Wow, the fun you can have in Max in just a few short seconds. So, with this in mind, let's figure out how we could um, play this a little bit more easily so that we can work with it. Let's, um, up here, unlock your patcher and type uh, N and then note in. And you'll see why in a second. Um, this will receive notes from MIDI should there be any out there. Now, for those of you out here, out there in my class, that will be your keyboard uh, patcher. And where is it? It's there it is. We were just talking about this in the last tutorial. There it is, and as you remember, this can, um, well, let's set it to the synthesizer so we know what it does. It can send that out, and it does it very nicely. Great. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll just set this to the first MIDI bus that you have open. This not your synthesizer, but the first MIDI bus. If you don't have a MIDI bus, uh, see the help instructions in the YouTube video. 
So here it is. For me, it's IAC driver bus one. I'm going to select that. And now I'm going to go back to my little uh, patcher here and lock my patcher and double click on note in. And I'm going to select the same thing, IAC driver bus one. Okay. So now, amazingly enough, note in will be receiving um, will be receiving that MIDI information, but it will only spit out pitch and velocity and channel. That's it. So note in is sort of like MIDI in, but it only listens for notes. So we can do something a little kooky here and just say, just connect this directly to the, we're not going to care about on and off. We're just going to have it change um, the M to F, which is MIDI to frequency. Let's see that it works. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. And if we turn this up, fantastic. We'll turn that volume right back down because that can be really annoying. So now, if we wanted to continue working on this and to have our note in function uh, by both turning it off and on, um, there's a different game that we can play here. So let's just see if we can get that working. We're going to get rid of that and we're going to um, run this into a new object called poly. So type n and type poly and then hit the space. You want poly with no um, no tilde, just poly. And then let's say that we want six voices, meaning the ability to play six notes at the same time um, without, uh, you know, six different notes can play at the same time without getting on top of each other. And then it implements another thing that's called steel mode, which means if you try to play seven, it just steals the voice from the very first one you played. So there we go. Poly, six, one. Okay, Poly. Now, unlike many things in Max, the help file for Poly is not all that helpful because it doesn't show you how to hook it up. So I am going to show you how to do it. Um, take pitch and connect it to pitch and connect velocity to velocity. Now what Poly's going to do is send out what channel, sort of, it, what voice number it's going to, and then the pitch, and then the velocity. And so we're going to use this uh, voice number that Polly is sending out as a sort of way to address the notes, one, any one of those six notes, to a certain place. But let me show you what I'm doing here. So we're going to skip this object for the moment. And we're going to uh, type n and make a spray object. The object's going to spray six um, outlets, one for each voice. And then there's a thing there you'll notice the offset. Poly puts out one, two, three, four, five, and six. Sometimes in digital you get zero, one, two, three, four, five, like gate. So we want an offset of one so that when it comes out with a one, it goes out the first outlet, not the zero outlet. And then finally down here you see in list mode, if you put any integer in here it'll work in list mode and we need it to work in list mode, so I'm going to type another one. Make sure you type this one or it will not work. Spray 6 1 1. Okay? Now, you'll notice that there's only one inlet here and six outlets. The six outlets are great. Oops. But here, you know, I'll stretch this out so we can use it for what we're going to use it for later. But we have to get these three messages into Poly, and so we use the pack object. Type N, type P A C K, not P A K, P A C K, zero space, zero space, zero. Click outside there, and then we're going to connect the voice number to the first inlet the pitch to the second inlet, and the velocity to the third inlet. 
This is going to be fun. And then we'll just, now that we'll have that message all bundled up, we send it out to spray. So when you get voice one, it'll go out spray outlet one. When you get voice two, it'll go out spray outlet two. But more of that in a minute. So over here, um, now we just need some way, once it arrives here, to see it. And I believe if we just put a message here and look at it, I'm going to uh, just make a message. Um, we'll make two messages so we can make sure of what's going on here. I'm just going to option click on that and put one here at pack so we can see what pack is sending out and what spray is sending out. So I'm going to lock my patcher and now I'm going to play my... Um, I'm going to make sure that this is set to IAC uh, driver 1. It is. So when I play my uh, keyboard with my computer keyboard, we should get um, messages here. So I'm just uh, press down the letter A and I'm getting a 3 48 127. So we know that this one's going to be coming out the third outlet and the, it'll be note 48 127. And I'm going to let off that note and we get a zero. So it's working and now I'm going to press another note 450 127 450 zero. Get it. There's five and there's six and I'm going to let off it. So coming out the very last one was note 53 and then finally an off and now when we press it again it's going to go back to one so I'm going to press uh, G and we get out there note 55 at 127 and here you see 55 127 coming out here. This is fabulous. This is just what we want. So let's unlock our patches again get rid of that there and we'll put a an unpack object here so type n type unpack zero space zero or space zero space zero if you prefer and hook that to the left inlet there and then this is funny so the notes going to come out here and it will be translated to this. The velocity is going to come out here, and we're just going to be a little naughty here. We're just going to hook the velocity up directly to the left inlet. Now watch, there's two inlets and they're close to each other. To the left inlet, and then we're going to um, highlight this gain control because the gain control, uh, I've got the inspector open over here, the gain control has 158 steps and we are going to make it have 127. So that's the, um, and I believe that rec that um, is the numbers coming in. So we'll just click on that and now we're just going to check and see that that's working. We're going to lock our patcher and try this out. It might be a little loud, so be careful. Um, this is on two right now, so we have to do three, four, five, six. Okay, watch out. It's going to be the next one. Here we go. And then we have to go around again. Here we go. So when it comes around, the 127 drives the volume all the way to the top, and then the 52 uh, gives you the note to play. It plays that note. It's, it's actually still playing that note, but the volume is turned off. All right, how do we make our five other notes? Well, what we can do, unlocking our patcher, is... Um, we're going to take the audio down to the bottom here and we can take our um, well we can leave the, oh, where should I put it um, we can leave these here we can we can do what we want with them later I'll, I'm gonna make it smaller just so we can see them all operating it'll be cute um, okay and I'm just gonna get rid of that 
And now what we can do is just encapsulate all of this. I'm going to leave the little oscillator out there, okay, out of this. We're going to encapsulate all that. So you can come up here and say edit, encapsulate. And it all jumps into the new patcher that you've made. And we'll call that patcher uh, Johnny uh, uh, Analog. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. And now you can see that Johnny Analog has uh, its little output there. But look, we can simply um, do this here. We could actually save this as a separate patcher, but we're not going to do that uh, and then just name it, but we're just going to select both of these and option click on them and send them across here. Five, six times. So now we have to, we need an input for each one of them. There we go. And this one we can do upside down so we can use the shift key. We're going to do the left channel and connect it to I'm hold I'm going to hold the shift key down now. Shift click 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 click. Oh, I forgot to let off on the shift key. For that, I hit the command key and I just click somewhere and it disappears. Now we'll do the right hand channel. So click on that and then hold your shift key down again and connect it. One, two, three, four, and now let go of that shift key and there they are. So what have we got here now? We have got something that should be able to play all six of those notes. Let's give it a try. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> I didn't lock my patcher, so it made a new object. Lock your patcher. And let's try that again. Moses, that is fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed making your sawtooth synthesizer as much as I did. So I will catch you in the next video, and I'm just going to say rock on.